me tell you some of the other drugs which are used for the treatment of dyslipidemia. We have two important drugs that is probucol, right? Probucol is one drug, and the other one is gugulipid, right? The other one is gugulipid. You take this particular probucol. Right, it is useful because of its antioxidant action. Right, it is useful because of its antioxidant action. All right, next. The other feature which is being done by the probucol is as such, it is having the antioxidant property. So, because of its antioxidant action, this probucol it inhibits the oxidation of LDL. Right, it inhibits the oxidation of low density lipoprotein. Now, because it is inhibiting the oxidation of low density lipoprotein, it causes the reduction in the levels of both LDL cholesterol and HDL cholesterol. So, this probucol it will decrease the levels of LDL cholesterol and also decrease the HDL cholesterol. Also decrease the HDL cholesterol. Now, you take this particular gugulipid, right? This particular gugulipid, this is being developed at Central Drug Research Institute Lucknow right it is developed at Central Drug Research Institute Lucknow now what it will do it causes the modest decrease in LDL and slight increase in the HDL cholesterol so this particular Google lipid it will decrease the LDL and it will cause slight increase in HDL all right it will decrease the LDL and slight increase in the HDL cholesterol the adverse effects with this particular Google lipid is right the adverse effect what you see with this particular Google lipid is diarrhea is diarrhea okay so diarrhea is the only adverse effects of this particular Google lipid so these are the two other important drugs which are used for reducing the cholesterol levels.